The Aperture MC is a small and portable LED light and today we're going to be talking about why every photographer and every videographer needs this in their kit. I mean for a start just look how small it is. It's so small and portable you can take it anywhere with you. It's wireless. Honestly it doesn't add any weight to your bag or anything and just by carrying this around you'll soon see how important it actually is and how much you would actually need it to get some real nice interesting and creative shots. What's great about this light is that it comes with a lovely diffuser so you can get that real nice soft light on your photos and your videos. So I'd say this is a must have in them must be on this light at all times. So on the side of the light, you've got your charging port, is how you can charge it. And I'm pretty sure if it's on the second bar of the battery, you can use it while it's plugged in. So you can actually turn it into a wired light as well, so you get unlimited battery life. But overall, I'll probably say that this light gives you about an hour and a half sort of light, depending on how bright you want to use every light and if you use all the different effects. And also, if you're enjoying this review so far, why not hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss a video in the future. And you've got your on and off switch here, and then you've also got your dial here where you can control all the different modes and all the different colors from on the light itself. So you don't have to connect it to the app all the time. You can just literally change the brightness, the hue, the saturation everything all just from this little one dial here and you can get to all the different effects just from this one dial so it's really handy if you don't have your phone or if your phone's out of charge you can connect to the app called sidus link and this is where you can really deep dive into different settings so if you're on the normal cct mode which is basically just a white mode this is where you can change the kelvin so you can go from normal white and then you can change it to get a more warmer color and then to a more cooler color or just normal white in the middle. And then you've also got different quick accesses here. So you can go straight to 5,600 Kelvin, 4,000 and 3,200 Kelvin. And then there's also another button here called expand. And you can also change the hue of the actual CCT mode itself. So you can go real dark orange and you can go really up to a nice cool blue color. And then you've also got the brightness button so you can have it really bright or you can have it really low down. It's up to you. You can literally change it all from the app and it's so easy. And then the next thing also from the app, you can also do this from the light itself, but you can change all of the hue. You can go from green, so you can go all the way down from pink, you can go to blue, you can literally have any color you want and literally just from the app, it's so quickly. You can change the brightness of it again, all the way down in here. You can change the saturation of it. You can change everything all from the app or you can just do it all from the light itself. So it's really quick and easy and you can access every color you can literally think of. I think the different hue colors, my favorite part about this is because I want access to so many different options when I do like my videos and like my photos. But also if you go back to the normal white mode, you can literally just use it as a video light. So if you're like a YouTuber and you don't have access to any big massive lights with really big diffusers lighting on you now, you can literally just change here. I've just got it on a normal white mode, get it up, put it on somewhere, put it on a tripod or anything. Anything, you can literally light your YouTube videos with it. So it's super handy for that as well. And then also you've got some really cool effects that you can play with. Again, you can access them all from the app or you can literally access them all from the light itself, which is really good and I really like that. So basically you've got all these different effects. So you've got a cop car effect. You've got a nice warm fire effect as well. So it just changes to different warm color hues. You've got so many different effects. You've got lightning, faulty bulb, fireworks, all things like that, paparazzi mode. There's so many different effects that you can play with and you can get really creative in your videos. The other great thing about the Aperture MC is that you can literally mount it and put it anywhere. You've got a tripod holder if you just want to put it on a tripod. If you don't have a tripod or if all your tripods are being used, you can literally just stick it to any magnetic surface and you can literally have it there. It's not going to come off. It's really strong magnets and it's really easy to set up. So you can literally put this light anywhere with magnets. And then also what it does come with, it comes with a little bag as well. And inside this bag, you've got your charging wire for when you want to charge it. And then you've also got these little Velcro sticks. So what you do, you undo them and then you take off this part here and then you stick the other end to the back of the Aperture MC here and then you can stick it to any wall really. So really there's no limits to what you can actually do with this light. I'll probably say the thing that this light is strongest at is probably product photography. You can get some really cool different hues when you do do your photos. I'm going to show some on the screen now. Look how nice and juicy this is to look at. This DJI Mini 2 with that nice warm colour just onto the front of the camera gimbal. It just looks so pleasing to the eye and it just looks so sick. And again, probably my favourite one now is of this ND filter. Just look at that lovely orange it gives at the top of the filter. And then the lovely warm colour on the desk on the bottom right of it here. It just makes the image so nice. <laughs> It 
It's also great for B-roll. So for example, if you're doing like a lens review and you want to shoot some B-roll of the lens, using the different colors that this light provides uh, to light up the product that you are shooting really does make for a lot more pleasing image. And it really does turn up that professionalism when you do use it because it just looks so good. It's also great for long exposures. So if you like that beam of light across your image, for example, if you're outside shooting a car shoot, or even if you're doing a product photography shoot, if you just literally shine this light on a long exposure, you can get a real nice beam of light. And it's really good for that as well, because again, you can use any color that you want. Like I said earlier, if you're on a budget, it's really good for lighting up your YouTube videos and not just for lighting yourself, but it's also really good for lighting the background up. So recently I've been putting this light behind me and then putting like a lens or a gimbal behind me. So it just makes the frame look a lot more pleasing to the eye when you do see that nice color in the background so i've been using that a lot more and i will use it in the future because it's so small and portable and wireless you can put it anywhere you can mount it to anything it is so good and the battery life on it is not the best i'd say an hour and a half is good but for example for today now if i was using it behind me and i'm filming a video and then straight away i want to shoot it for some b-roll then that battery life really does lower down quite quickly especially if you're using the top brightness and the top saturation it does go down quite quickly and then obviously if you forget to charge it and you go out somewhere then that's not good because you won't be able to use it i can't really say that's a con because that's the, obviously one of the biggest pros that this light has to offer is that it's wireless right then so let's talk about the price the price is coming in at 109 pounds at the minute on amazon and to be honest i think that's an absolute steal it's absolutely so worth the money and honestly the stuff that you can do with this is absolutely amazing 109 pound for a portable wireless led light You've got every single color you can think of. You can got so many different effects as well. You've got a nice little diffuser. Honestly, I can't really think of any bad things about this light, especially for the 109 pound price tag. They also do a pack of these lights as well. So you can buy four of them that come in a little case and the case itself charges them. So every time you put the aperture MCs into the case, they charge them all at once. So really when you're done with them, if you keep all four of your lights in the case, they'll all charge up so next time you use them they'll be fully charged anyway that's coming in at about 502 pounds which kind of makes sense 400 pounds for four of these which is about similar 109 pound each and then about 80 pound let's say for the case itself i mean which is actually pretty good value considering you get four of these and i'm saying that one one of these is worth 109 pounds and then you get a charging case as well so i'd say it's worth it but i don't exactly recommend you go out and buy that instantly I think it'll be better to just pick one of these up and then if you want another one buy another one and then if you want more then obviously get more eventually in the future instead of just splashing 502 pounds straight away when you might only need one or two when you're first starting off but anyway i'll leave the link for both of these in the description anyway if you want to go check them out but the creative opportunities with this light never ends that's why even if you think you might not use it too much there's always a reason why to use it and it always makes your videos better and if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to see more I'll see you guys on the next video. I'll see you later.